Today I'm going to go over three of the Major League Baseball games on the schedule today, and I'm going to give you several free plays to bet in each one of those games. The first game we're going to look at is the New York Yankees at Texas Rangers. What I like to do is take all of the major categories. I've been doing this since I was a Major League Baseball scout. I like to rank the batting, bullpen, and starting pitching first on a scale of 30. I take about 300 of the starting pitchers and I curve that to 30 and get my rankings so I can compare them to bullpens and batters. So Garrett Cole takes the mound for the New York Yankees and Jack Leader takes the mound for the Rangers. Unfortunately, Leader doesn't have enough starts in the last 30 days, so he doesn't make my rankings. But I do have the New York Yankees ranked 11 in batting out of 30 teams. I have the Texas Rangers ranked 27th in batting, so pretty poor batting for the Rangers. They've really dropped off a cliff. They're not playing like World Series champions. The bullpens, I have the Yankees ranked number 7, so they have a quite a big advantage, top 10 bullpen there. And the Rangers bullpen, I have currently ranked 16 out of 30. Starting pitchers, Garrett Cole is one of the best. Uh, he's not having a great season right now, but he's starting to come into form. I like him a lot better than I like the unproven leader. So I do like the Yankees as a side in this play, but the line is more than minus 200, which is pretty hard to swallow. I have a little trick as a professional gambler. What I like to do is I like to take a minus one on big favorites sometimes when I, when I absolutely must bet them. And this is one of those situations. A minus one is, is a little safer than the minus one and a half run line. So if your team wins by one, uh, the play is a push uh, rather than a loss, which it would be on the one and a half. And with a minus one, generally you can shave off about 30 cents off the price. Currently at DraftKings, you can get the Yankees minus one uh, at about minus 165 to minus 170. I realize that's a little bit steep, so make a small 2% play on this. Take the Yankees on the side with that really good lineup and really nice bullpen and Garrett Cole on the mound. Let me take a moment now to let you know I have a 5% max MLB play out today on my page at WagerTalk. You can see the link here on this page. I'm WagerTalk's number one Major League Baseball profit capper in 2024 plus 120 units in 2024 in Major League Baseball alone. All sports profit, I'm plus 166, number one in profit at WagerTalk. As a matter of fact, I've been number one at WagerTalk three of the last four years in all sports profit. Since August 23rd, I'm up 34%, winning 72% of my plays. It's a great time to grab my 5% play and you can get it at the link on this page. The next game I'm going to look at is the Cubs and Pirates. We've got Jamison Tayon going against Jared Jones. Uh, the Cubs and the Pirates both batting incredibly well right now. I have the Cubs ranked number one in all of Major League Baseball. The Pirates are also hitting quite hot right now. I have them ranked number five in all of Major League Baseball. As for bullpens, neither one of these bullpens is really lighting it up. Uh, I have the Cubs ranked 16 out of 30, so a little below average. And I have the Pirates ranked 26 out of 30, so way below average. Tayon and Jones, I, I have both of them on my curve of 30. Uh, 300 starting pitchers on a curve of 30. I have them both ranked 20 out of 30, so both of them are pretty below average. Instead of a side here, I really like some of the player props, so I'll give you a few of those. Uh, generally, when I bet batter props, I don't like to do total bases uh, or home runs because home runs, very poor odds. Those are basically sucker bets. And total bases, you lose an at-bat if your player walks. So I like hits, runs, RBIs. Usually you can get these for any player at 1.5 over under. With hits, runs, RBIs, if your player walks, he can still add to the prop by getting knocked in by one of his teammates. Uh, any hit, any RBI... Uh, and any run counts. So two of those in one game, you hit the over. The first player I want to look at in this game is Cody Bellinger. Against Jared Jones, Cody Bellinger has only eight at-bats, so the sample size is not huge, but he has two doubles and a home run in those eight at-bats for a 375 average and a 1375 OPS. So uh, all of those were this season. Uh, so Cody Bellinger hits Jared Jones quite well. Uh, so I think Cody Bellinger's over one and a half Hits, runs, RBIs would be a good prop to play in this game. Ian Happ for the Cubs is another player I like against Jared Jones. Ian Happ in nine at-bats 
has one home run, two hits, a 333 average, and a 1111 OPS. So Ian Happ over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs would also be a nice play on this game. The last player prop I like in this game is Seiya Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki only has four at-bats against Jones, but he has two hits, and one of them is for a home run. Uh, so that's a 1850 OPS and a 500 average. Granted, the sample size is small, but given the fact that the Pirates' bullpen is ranked close to the bottom, even after Jones leaves the game, it's likely that these players can get hits against this poor bullpen. And the last game I'd like to look at for player props is the Dodgers versus the Diamondbacks. So the Dodgers took care of business in the first two games of this series, and the Diamondbacks yesterday put two touchdowns up on the Dodgers to the point where the Dodgers were putting position players in at pitching. Uh, I don't know really who's going to win this on the side. I do like Jack Flaherty better than Rodriguez. The first player prop that I like in this game is Freddie Freeman over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs. Freddie Freeman has 11 at bats against Rodriguez. He's got five hits, uh, a 455 average, and a 1000 OPS. Uh, the juice is a little high, but Freddie Freeman is always very reliable to have a good game. Uh, he does get blanked sometimes. I doubt he gets blanked in this one. And the Dodgers really want to run away with the NL West. So I like Freddie Freeman over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs. The play that I like even more than that, though, is Jock Peterson for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Jock Peterson has terrorized Jack Flaherty in his career to the tune of six hits in 17 at-bats. That's equivalent to a 353 average and a 1154 OPS and two home runs. Jock Peterson has absolutely terrorized Jack Flaherty uh, throughout his career, uh, but you need to make sure that Jock Peterson is in the starting lineup. Sometimes he's a DH and he is only inserted in pinch hitting situations. So make sure that Jock Peterson is in the starting lineup. If he's in the starting lineup for the Diamondbacks, he'll generally be in the number two or number three slot. If that's the case, definitely take Jock Peterson's over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs, as he has a great history and a nice sample size against Jack Flaherty. The books really love Jack Flaherty. I actually like Jack Flaherty as a scout myself, uh, but the Diamondbacks are heavy hitters, and Jock Peterson has really good one-on-one -on -one numbers against Flaherty. So Jock Peterson over one and a half hits, runs, RBIs is a great player prop to play in this, and it's plus 100 odds. So those are the three games that I wanted to cover and all of the free plays that go with it. Make sure you go to wt.buzz backslash tb. That's my page at wagertalk.com. You can get my 5% Major League Baseball max play today. I'm Wagertalk's number one MLB profit capper in 2024. I'm also Wagertalk's number one all sports profit capper plus 166 units in 2024. I'm also the number one all sports profit capper three of the last four years and nobody else can say that since august 23rd i'm plus 34 units grab my five percent play in major league baseball today and cash with me that's all for this video i'll be back with more put that coffee down coffee's for closers only